All right. Well, I don't always have time to go on the interwebs and go on social media, but when I do, I make sure I get my trolling in. So this is going to be the next segment, trolling on the internet. We're done. All right. So I jumped in. And this was actually regarding our Instagram post. If you haven't watched the break video yet, all these cards were out of one box. I happened to be here as a Jeopardy champion. I was here watching C-Rad break this. And he was yelling, John, and then Doug. And so I'm like, what is he talking about? And he had already pulled three John Morants. You can see him in the background. Three. This is out of one box. One box Chronicle. You're only supposed to have two autos. <laughs> so we had six autos in this Chronicle box. So it was three John Morants. Uh, one John Morant patch auto, so that's four John Morants, and a Zion patch auto out of uh, 25. What PYT was that? PYT 3? Three. So PYT 3, if you want to watch it on YouTube, you can watch the whole break. There was also a black Anthony Davis one of one Three black prisms. Three black prism one of ones in there too? Yeah. Oh, my God. So you got to check out this break. It's the craziest break ever. <laughs> so we posted it on, this on Instagram, right? You know, of course. You know, we're proud. We got lucky. We got one of the crazy boxes. And, uh, you know, we, we, we had some, uh, some negativity. You know, that's what the Internet's about, being negative. So I'll read you what uh, Mr. Dickie Delberto wrote to me or wrote to Mojo Break. I don't know if it was me specifically. It could be. You might hate my face. But he's like, joke, dot, dot, dot. So there, you remember, joke, and then you got we've to already, pause. We've already talked about the We've dots. already established we've already, that. we've already talked about it. Load the, the dots. Load the boxes for case breakers. Open my box Friday. Only got one auto and two packs and had seven cards. Yes, you heard that right. Seven cards. Open in front of the shop owner, Hall of Fame Sports New York, Tom Knapp. That must be his his guy, too, at Panini America. And uh, so basically, he's like, sad to see these breakers are low. Sad to see these breaks are loaded for case breakers when the brick and mortar shops have supported them before these breakers were in diapers. $900, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, you know what? Here's me in diapers. So I want to give a shout out to Hall of Fame Sports New York for taking care of me while I was in diapers <laughs> before I started Case Break. So I do appreciate it. Um, and thanks for the Willie Stargell 82 card that I probably had in my mouth when I was three months old <laughs> and that probably went in some bike, bike spokes. Thank you for allowing me to open up Chronicles Basketball because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here. You know, So every time I crapped in my diaper, I thought of you, Hall of Fame Sports New York, and you, Dickie Delberto. So I responded, you know, you know, because I like to, you know, every once in a while I like to troll, but I troll respectfully and I present facts. So uh, I, he, he, I was basically like, based on on that, why should anyone buy from a shop then? Less autos compared to case uh, breakers cases, and he's all so true. So you agree, cases for the case breakers run hotter. Phil Hughes at Phil Hughes. So Phil Hughes may have seen this, the former New York Yankee. I see some of the st- uh, the stiff. Phil hits, and it's insane, which should be stuff, but probably <laughs> a- autocorrect. <laughs> and, and so I responded with that, and I said, I said, I said, basically, frankly, yep, case breakers are definitely hotter. In yeah. Appearance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you know. So um, it went on a little bit more, and, you know, it, it, was, it was fun on the internet, and, and you know, it, it feels good. You get trolled so many times, and then every once in a while, you got to troll back. And, uh, you know, you know, tell them what's up. And, um, you know, I just hate the woe is me attitude. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta put a face to the post and you gotta get out there and you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get the blood pumping a little bit. So the, the, then after that, we, we, we had the Mark Wahlberg situation, right? Which was crazy. You got Mark Wahlberg, you got Dirk Diggler, you got whatever his name is on his other movies. Uh, the, the guy from, uh, that has the stuffed, stuffed teddy bear. What's that movie called? Ted. Ted. I love that movie. The Ted. Ted. I mean, you you've got, you Mark Wahlberg's Huge. character wasn't named Ted in that movie. It was Ted. His, it was, was Ted. His name wasn't Ted. Um, <laughs> but you have his sons opening up Panini Chronicles now. So you have Mark Wahlberg videoing his kids opening up Chronicles in Elite and, and, and posting it out on Twi- on Instagram and giving Panini a shout. And, and then you just have more hatred spewing out of people's mouths, just like diarrhea, just coming out of people's mouths. So you got this guy on Twitter that I didn't put his name on there. So he's like, so dot, 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 dot. So Dots, it was like, bro. so. <laughs> da, da. No, he's just thinking. Most people can't find product on the shelves or can't afford the same markup on the secondary market. But at Panini America sends the crazy rich movie star a ton of product, probably free for a shout out. Way to look for the real hobbyists. Okay. So I, Tons all capitalized. 
ton. Oh yeah, wait, wait, wait. Sends a crazy rich movie star a ton of product, <laughs> probably go. free for a shout out. Way to look for the real hobbyist. Now, what is that emoji? The, the, the looking up is that like a rolling the, the I think eyes it's a emoji? Rolling of the eyes, like rolling of the eyes emoji. Rolling my eyes. Okay, so I jumped in there and I was like, basically, so. If you had a business and someone with 15.6 million social media followers was interested in your business, wouldn't you send them promotional items to pro promote your business to their 15 million followers? That's all I was saying. And I got crickets. I got crickets. I got no response. I got no response. And then another gentleman said, they didn't need help selling Chronicles basketball, though, and we both know that. If anything, they should have sent them baseball pot products considering the lack of market due to lack of licensing. And this is coming from a baseball-only collector that loves Panini products. They didn't want to break Optic. They wanted to break Chronicles. So Mario why would you kid. send somebody that has 15 million followers something they don't want? Yeah. Think okay. about that. Well, first off, they don't, they don't need help selling Optic either. They don't. They don't, they don't need don't. help selling baseball Anything. product. Now, NASCAR. NASCAR, they can probably they could they, they probably could have sent some some NASCAR to to Mark Wahlberg. And yeah, but it's gonna and, get there eventually. Yeah, I mean that they can use you know a little marketing behind. I mean, I, I love it. I'd buy it. I think we should do breaks of, of NASCAR, but yeah, you know. And me and Dan actually had a serious boardroom meeting. We got contacted by a movie star as well, so that'll be on next week's hype because teaser. of breakers. The only kids that can open up packs are movie star kids. Mm. That's because of us. Because it's of Rickers. Me? But I'm no, not. It's, a, it's your face only. I'm not a movie star. I'm trying to be. <laughs> no, it's just because of Breakers only movie stars can afford it. Oh, so we are the so ones. So we dictate the market price. So, so yeah. we're dictating. So it's our our mm -hmm. fault the price. We got the power. Right. We got the juice. Uh, Wait, how did you take time out of your day of counting your money to be on the show, Dan? That's what I want to know specifically. Like we should be lucky that Dan's on the show. He could be <laughs> counting his money right now. <laughs> That's what I was doing all day today. <laughs> you know, we got to pay the same amount as everybody else is paying. Yeah. When when the products go up, we're paying the market value. Now, we also have to hustle and get creative on how to sell this product and pay employees and pay the shipping department and keep the lights on and um, pay insane insane rents that we have to – that we – leases rents? at rents. <laughs> lease that is i mean we're in the bay area so you can make an argument that we're in the third most expensive place in the country to run a business i think you should put that on social media really like come from the heart i mean you you was that from the heart yeah you and no, that was just straight facts bro you and dick <laughs> could maybe bond over some 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 warm hot cocoa you know by the fire on a hot day but I like um, I like little Dicky the uh, the rapper. It's good, but Dicky Delberto is mean, speaking the word. I, did you guys watch? Getting off topic, did you guys watch his uh, his show on FX? He's I've good. watched a few episodes. Have there been any new ones? Uh, it, the season's over, oh, okay. but it's a good show. It was a great show. But and Andrew Santino and but back to Mark Wahlberg. I, my point is, yes, you. We all hope that we can have Chronicles given to us, but we all don't have 15 million followers. The Fire Festival. If anybody's watched that Netflix documentary. Kylie Jenner got paid two hundred fifty thousand dollars for an Instagram post on Fire Festival just for putting forty words on a thing and taking a picture saying I'm going out to Fire Festival. Two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Mark Wahlberg, I guarantee you, gets text or his agent gets texts and emails every day. Hey, Mark, we got this new energy drink we want you to uh, you promote. How much? Uh, we got these new shoes. Nike wants you out there to do in this program. The, the local businesses paying up money for appearances. I'm sure he turns down everything. Except for, you know, big movie star roles or whatever, or going on Kimmel or anything like that to get his brand out there. So basically, Panini gave them whoever, however, it, let's just say theoretically they gave him the boxes. We don't know that for sure. Let's say theoretically Panini gave him the boxes. They basically sent $700 worth of product. I don't know how much it cost them. Let's just say it was $700 for basically equivalent of $150,000 of marketing dollars. I get you. I, I And getting back to, I, I'm not letting this go, but... Breakers dictating the market. That's absolutely incorrect. You know who's dictating the market? One, the consumer is dictating the market. Two, it's all the players that everybody's chasing. It's Zion's fault. It's Jaws' fault. It's Luca's fault. You should tell Zion that. It's his fault. Yeah, we should try. We should build a it, campaign and it, tell him. What are what are we supposed? If we have the product, are we supposed to sell it well below market value? 
And we are, do a lot are, of times. We do. Actually. We do actually. For, for for example, if you look at top, if you look at Tops Chrome PYTs and you go on a lot of websites that are selling PYT style brakes for jumbo cases, it's over a thousand dollars for the White Sox. Not to toot our own horn here, but Doug, you just put up on Monday night at around eleven thirty p.m. You put up some PYT Tops Chrome. I did. And what did you sell the White Sox for, Doug? Four hundred dollars. I hate money. Four hundred dollars. So, hate money. so you as a breaker, you left six hundred dollars on the table for that one team. They should throw you a parade. The no. community should throw you a parade. No. <clears throat> I was just worried about you counting too much. It was taking too long for you to count the money. Why are you getting back to so. me counting money? I'm just. I, I don't because you're the money guy. I'm not the. <laughs> I just make sure the bills are paid. I'm not the money guy. Constitutes a money guy, let alone a bunch of mini money guys. I'm not the. Uh, what's Man. the what's the cartoon with the uh, with the duck ducktails? Oh, the, when you uh, Scrooge when he's uh, is it Scrooge Scrooge McDuck when he's, when he's swimming in the, the, the money. Yeah, oh. that's not me. That's you. Dude. That's not me at all. But I try to combat that by offering great prices to our loyal followers or anybody that's on the internet at 10, 11.30 at night on our website. Um, and that's another thing. I actually post them at different times. I, I post breaks uh, at midnight. I post breaks at 10 in the morning. I post breaks at 1 o'clock. No one in the world is notified. I don't care how much money you spend. No one is notified when breaks are put up. doesn't happen. So first come, first serve. Always been since day one. And, you know, if you go on our site, you're going to be able to get deals early on pre-sale stuff. I can't tell you that the White Sox are going to continue to be that price. So, but those that bought in early took a chance, bought in early, gave us money before the break. They're benefiting. So, that's and that's what that's we want. $600 that I can't count now. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and that's, that's always the fight that we have. You know, it's just like you're spending too much time counting the money. But uh, I should probably stop talking about that. People are going to snip that and be like, this is what these guys are doing. They're just counting money all day. Just counting money all day.